This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the latest upgrade on the Aaron cell. I've had a number of questions about it. This is the cell that I have on my website, hydrogentap.com. I've made a number of improvements, a lot of changes. As you can see, there are actually three electrodes here. There's one black lead there, there's one electrode, and there's two in the front. This one here goes to the black, and these two are separate. If you look real close, there's actually two electrodes going through. One goes through the first four, the second one goes through the next four. And the way that works is, you can turn off either side. So you can run the Aaron cell with just the one half of the plate system or the other half or both together. This is an experiment. There's many things you can do with that. And one of them is to try to stop the runaway effect. My term. When you run this cell in a hot environment like a car or in your lab, what happens as the cell warms the water up, the electrolyte gets hotter and you get a better conductivity through the water which makes more heat. It also, of course, brings the amperage up. As, as you get more heat, the water gets hotter and so forth and so forth. The way to stop that or the way to slow that down at this point is to put the electrolyte in the water with both of these halves working. And then as the cell heats up, turn off one of these halves. And this is just another method of doing that. The other would be using the pulse system, which is probably what I'm going to be running with in the car. I'm not using the pulse system to generate more hydrogen. I'm using the pulse system to slow the process down. So as the, there's more energy being produced to keep the runaway effect, I'll be using the pulse system to do that. I do not believe the pulse system will generate more hydrogen. I'm going to be going out to the Honda today and start working with it. Uh, before this video is over, I'll show you one of the things that I've done with it. Meanwhile, this cell here is the, what I have in the Honda. The Honda has the 8-inch plate twin. This one's got 6-inch plate twins. They're both 3 inches wide. The configuration is identical. Come a long way on this cell from the very first one. You can see the red leads here. I do this to the positive end of the battery, this to the negative end of the battery. This is the long one. So can connect or disconnect either side. I'm also using a better form of spacer. These spacers are made from this plastic here, which gives me a good eighth of an inch space. And I've been able to make that better and better each time. What happens is I cut about an inch square spacer out and they're working well. I'm going to take the system outside and I'm going to show you the provision or the new switch setup that I just have put into the Honda.
We're outside now, and you're looking in the cab, as you can see. It's been a lot of work to get this far. Again, you can see the two red buttons. The button, the switch on the right, turns on the hydrogen. The one to the next the left turns the lights on the, the the volt meter and the amp and then to the far left there is the light that tells me that there's water in the hydrogen cell the, the meter that I haven't quite hooked up yet is there and that meter tells you how long the system's been on I think that's going to be really great when I get that done now we're going to go in and I'll show you the, the big hassle I've had. Okay, it's been a week or week and a half me trying to get to the fuel pump to turn it off. Tried everything and finally I gave up and paid some garage mechanic to set it up for me. He went in through the back seat or under the back seat which I was trying to get out but I just couldn't do it. So, and there's all the commotion. That's what all the commotion is about. Finally, I got, I have my switch. You believe that? Right now, the switch in the down position allows the gasoline to go, be pumped. Switch in the up position turns that off. I've got it right next, or the console right next to me. The problem is, and I didn't figure on this, is that sometimes I turn it off while I'm driving, which later that won't be a hassle because I'm going to be running on 100% hydrogen.